Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, I gotta get to work. These GPUs have been sitting around for too long. They're 3080 Ti's, I have five of them. I'm gonna get them in this rig, get it all built, and when it's done, we'll come back and take a look. I'm gonna do all this work off camera. If you need help, building rigs step by step. You can check out some of my previous videos. I'll link one up in the card here. But I'm gonna go old days on this. And I'm gonna shut off this camera. I'm gonna open a beer. I'm gonna put on some music. And I'm gonna build a mining rig. And I'm gonna have a great time. And I hope you guys don't mind. And when it's all done, we're gonna come back. We'll take a look together. Check out the components that I've used. Give it a real nice once over. Get it hashing. I'll talk about what I'm mining with it and what my plans are with it. So I will be back in a little bit. That's it, the rig's built, here it is. So let's go over all the components I'm using in this mining rig. So first up is the motherboard, I'm using this Gigabyte Z390UD, which has spots for six graphics cards, it has six PCIe slots on the motherboard. On that motherboard, I'm using this Pentium Gold 5420 processor, you can see there, coupled with this Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM, I'm using four gigabytes on this board right now. I'm using a combo of ATX power supply and server power supply. And the ATX I'm using is this EVGA 1000 watt G plus, my favorite power supply to use in mining rig builds. And then I'm using a power supply, just HP server power supply. You can see there with a breakout board uh, from Parallel Miner. The GPUs in this rig, let's do the top down view and I'll show you the GPUs I'm using in here. So I have a gigabyte vision, you can see right here. Next to that, I have a 3080 Ti EVGA XC3. And then these three cards are all the same. These are for the win three EVGA 3080 Ti's. I have a empty spot here because I only have five 3080 Ti's. So I'm looking to fill this probably with another for the win three, or I might just throw a 3070 Ti or something else that I have on hand here. As far as power, these two GPUs that you see right here are both powered off of the ATX power supply. As, long, uh, as well as with the motherboard itself. I'm using PCI splitters from GPURisers.com to split between the riser and the graphics card itself. And then these three cards are running off of the server power supply. Again, using splitters to go from the riser to one eight pin, and then each of the other eight pins, since these cards have three eight pins, are ran one cable per eight pin back to the server power supply. And that's this rig in its entirety, everything that I'm using on here. SSD is just a Kingston SSD running Windows right now, but obviously you can do anything you want with that. So let me get this mining. So I got this rig up and mining stock right now. I haven't done anything with power limits, anything with overclocks. I just powered it up, launched T-Rex Miner, put the fans at 100%, and we're looking at the results that we're getting. So the first thing you probably see is the VRAM temperatures of this Gigabyte 3080 Ti are just horrible. Horrible, horrible, which is just the story with Gigabyte GPUs, especially the GDDR6X graphics cards. Even with the fans at 100%, it's still hitting 106 degrees Celsius, so close to the 110 degrees thermal throttling limit. The other thing that I'm noticing that I'm very curious about, and I have no idea, is the For the Win 3 cards, you can see they're pulling 390 watts in the software but the TDP of those cards is 350 watts. So I'm not sure what's happening in there. If you guys do, please let me know down in the comments section. But hitting 53 mega hash or under 53 mega hash on each card. So what I'm gonna do now is spend some time getting overclocks and everything dialed in. And we will take a look at the performance of this five card 3080 Ti Firo right now mining rig. So I put some overclocks on here. This is what I would traditionally run my For the Win 3 3080 Ti's at, which is plus 100 core and plus 1000 on the memory. And apologize for any server power supply screams that you're hearing right now. But a couple of interesting things that you see here, just the For the Win 3's are completely outperforming the rest of the cards, which I guess is not a big surprise. But again, look at the power that they are pulling, especially versus that first card, the GPU Zero, which is the XC3, it's just trailing so far behind both the Gigabyte and the For the Win 3s, 
because it's not pulling the full TDP of this card. So I'm not sure what else I can do there. Updated the V BIOS and it pulled way more than it was before. If you guys have any ideas, please let me know in the comments section down below. But if you look at this, the 413s are getting 58, almost 59 mega hash per second. The gigabyte is touching 57, almost 58 mega hash per second, but hitting 110 degrees on the VRAM, which is ridiculous. And it's still not thermal throttling though. Even though it's hitting that 110 degrees, it has not thermal throttled, though it absolutely should be or probably will be any second. So my next step then is to just reduce the power limits on these cars, see what kind of efficiency I can hit, and ultimately see if it really matters for this 3080 Ti since I want to bring down that wattage anyway. That is that EVGA XC3 3080 Ti. So let me work on bringing down the wattage, finding some efficiency, and getting this rig stable. So as I'm working on this, I wanted to pause here just to show something really interesting. So I'm running all of these cards at the same exact wattage, 279 watts each. But look at the wild swings in mega hash that they're doing. The EVGA XC3 is only doing 42 mega hash. The For the Win 3s, some of them are doing great, 51, 54 mega hash. Another one is only doing 46 mega hash, and the Gigabyte is only doing 40 mega hash, the absolute lowest of the bunch. I don't know if this is Silicon Lottery. I don't know if there's something else going on. What I'm going to work on right now is getting a consistent hash rate across the GPUs. But man, some of these are going to wind up so much more efficient than others. I spent the last few hours really getting to know these specific GPUs and this rig. And I'll tell you what I've learned. The For the Win 3s are just insane cards. They are amazing. And even between them, they stack up a little differently. So you can see that GPU 1 3080 Ti is the For the Win 3 doing 58 mega hash. It's the best performing card on this entire rig. So what I found is I really wanted to get to around 58 mega hash on most of these cards. And let me back up a second and talk about the XC3. That's been giving me issues. I have that card at a 100% power limit right now, and I'm still only pulling 326 watts. When it should be pulling 350 watts, that is the TDP of the 3080 Ti. I'm not really sure what else I can do to get this card to pull the full amount of wattage. And so because it's not, you can see it's impacting the hash rate that I'm able to get as well. I can't get this card more than 54 mega hash, no matter what I do in any overclocks that I try. The For the Win 3s that I was just talking about are doing amazing. I got those down 320 watts for 56 to 58 mega hash, depending on the card. Some of them can go even lower and maintain a really high mega hash. One of them is a Silicon Lottery winner in here for sure. And then you can see the Gigabyte card. Same story as always with Gigabyte. It's thermal throttling. If it's not thermal throttling, I can get about 57 mega hash per second, but it needs the thermal pads replaced in order for me to get there. So... I'm still going to keep tinkering probably for a while on this because I've never had a rig of the same GPU that they all act so wildly different. Some of them I can get the same hash rates on, but they can be 40, 50 watts apart from each other, which I've never had that experience before. So that's where I have them running right now. Uh, in case you're curious of the overclocks I'm running in MSI Afterburner, I got the core up 100 and I have the memory up 900 on every GPU with fans running full blast. Now, my plans for this rig are to mine some prog power based algorithms. And so I put in the performance that I'm getting out of this rig in the software is 283 mega hash per second for 1,630 watts. And if I hit calculate, and that's what it will do on both Firo Pow and Ka Pow, you can see that Ravencoin is currently the most profitable, but Fear was not too far behind, only a couple dollars behind. So we're hitting $30.74 profit on Raven and $28 profit on Fero. And what I really want to do is solo mine Fero some more on this rig. So I put that mega hash that I'm able to get into here. So that was 280 mega hash is what I'm pulling right now out of this rig. And so if I go to solo, it means I should be hitting about four blocks a week mining FeroPow, solo mining FeroPow with this rig. So that's it, guys. Thanks for hanging with me through this RTX 3080 Ti build video. I know I got to fill this slot soon, so I'm very much looking forward to doing that. 
If you made it this far in the video, I got a special surprise for you. I would love for you to leave a comment down below. And in that comment, please let me know what your current favorite GPU for mining is. Within 24 hours of this video posting, I'm going to randomly choose a winner, reply to your comment, and I will mine for 24 hours with this rig to your either Ravencoin or Firo address. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more content on GPU mining. Join my Discord if you'd like to chat. Link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you in the next video.